The following is an exclusive presentation of Top Rank on ESPN+. You guys ready for it? Winner take all. Let's do this. And just look at the electricity that's in this building right now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside T-Mobile Arena here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. Brought to you all weekend long by AutoZone, Get in the Zone, by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. Hands down, the busiest week Las Vegas has ever seen. F1 takes over the strip on Saturday night, and we have a world championship doubleheader coming to you live from right here inside T-Mobile Arena Thursday night. Two world championship titles on the line. The first, the WBO junior lightweight champion, Emmanuel Vaquero Navarrete, facing Robson Obrabo Conceição. And then the vacant WBC lightweight title is on the line. Shakur Stevenson facing Edwin La Granada de los Santos. This stage is packed. Joining me right now, junior welterweight Hugo McKellef, lightweight Abdullah Mason, El General Emiliano Fernando Vargas, middleweight Troy Transformer Isley, bantamweight Floyd Cashflow Diaz. And then on either side of me, they will be facing each other for the WBO international title, Brian the Assassin Norman Jr. and Quentin Randall. Let's get to it. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Everybody tuning in around the world, thank you for being here with us. Again, an exciting, exciting week here in Las Vegas, and we got a world championship doubleheader. I'm going to start down here. Hugo McKellef, making your United States debut. Welcome to Las Vegas. How are you feeling? Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Top Rank, uh, Mr. Arum. Uh, for bringing me here. It's just like a childhood dream, you know, for being able to fight here in Vegas, in the U.S., but even more in Vegas. I was, I was always dreaming, of, dreaming about this when I was a kid, and right now it's happening, so thank you for that. Hugo, I wrote down here that you are the only professional boxer ever from the Principality of Monaco. How did this happen? What made you wake up one day and say, I live in Monaco, and I want to be a boxer. Well, as you say, yeah, there is no boxer. There is no boxing. There were no boxing in Monaco before. Thanks to me, I would say it's starting to happen. To happen, but um, 
like there is no necessity to like to fight in Monaco. Uh, my fa my father was a boxer. He's from France. Um, my father was a boxer, so I was basically watching his videos when I was a kid. And let's say I was involved in some school fights when I was a kid. I was the only one in Monaco. It didn't never happen. Like everybody was shocked there. But um, then yeah, I started to to want to box, and my father pushed me into it. I was gonna say it must have been difficult to find partners to train with since nobody participated in the sport at all. So a lot of shadow boxing, I take it, growing well, up? Yeah, but I basically didn't have any sparring when I was in Monaco for my amateur career, for my whole amateur career. Uh, I didn't have any sparring. I did 145 fights all around the world, almost without any sparring. Yeah, I was, go I was going to Paris sometimes. I was going to France, but I didn't have any sparring. Sparring really started when I arrived in Gran Canaria with my coach, Carlos Fomento. Um, and then, yeah, I I did all of that without any sparring. It was very difficult, but we, we went to do it. Yeah. You figured it out. Here we are. Uh, you had four fights in 2022. This will be your fifth fight this year. You're becoming a top prospect at 140. What can we expect? What can the world expect now that you're here in Las Vegas on Thursday night? Well, as I said yesterday, I think the case big fireworks. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a quick boxer, fast boxer. I'm very technical, I think. I would like to be recognized as one of the most technical boxers in the world in some years. And um, yeah, I, I think they can expect some fireworks and, and an account, I hope, hopefully. Well, listen, we're, we're honored and thrilled to have you here. Welcome to the United States. Welcome to Las Vegas. We'll see you tomorrow on the scale. Thank you. Thank you. The Fresh Prince of Monaco. I love the nickname as well. Right beside you, Abdullah Mason, uh, the family man. You are uh, 19 years old. Yesterday at the open workouts, just outside this fabulous building, we had open workout, workouts outside. And the first thing that caught my eye was, man, this kid is growing up. Look at this muscle on this kid. How are you feeling? What's that been like in camp? I'm feeling amazing. I had a great camp. Um, we've just been keeping it going since my last fight. We've just been keeping it going. I've been b pretty busy, so we just staying in the gym, you know, moving along. Do you feel like you hear the term a lot in boxing, these kids developing man strength? Do you feel like you're getting some man strength out there? Like your calves out there in the ring are the biggest that I've ever seen them, and I've been I've been in the ring with you every fight that you've had with top rank. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly getting better, getting stronger. You know, as the time goes on, we just moving along, being better and better at every fight. What's this opportunity mean to you? Here we are, uh, obviously the mecca of boxing in New York City at MSG, but T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas has hosted some incredible fights, and here we are the busiest week uh, in the city's history, and you're on this card on ESPN. It's amazing. Uh, fighting at the T-Mobile Arena, not, not many people get to come here and perform, you know, at that uh, this young, you know, being here is a blessing, and uh, I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful to my manager, Jay Prince, my promoter, Bob Arum, my family, you can't stress that enough. You know, all the, all my family around me, they want the best for me. And uh, I say it a lot because, you know, not a lot of people get to see that. And I got everybody in my corner. They want the best for me. Not only they blood, but, you know, they advising me the right, you know, the right things to do. You mentioned Bob and Jay. Both are with us, yeah. as always, right here in the front row. But I want to talk about your father and your family for, for one last question here. What has it meant to you to have that circle of support constantly around you where the eye is always on the prize, there's no wavering, and you have your brothers and your father right there with you at the drop of a hat? Oh, yeah. Like I always say, I'm grateful, you know? Not many people get to have their whole family that want the best for them, you know, who's there every step of the way, you know, to tell me what I'm doing right, tell me what I'm doing wrong, and teach me to be better the things that they see. So, you know, I'm here taking it all in, you know, and I'm enjoying the process as it's going on. Well, listen, thank you for spending time with us, man. I'm calling you Mr. Mason from now on because you are, you. you are turning into that man uh, that we all are excited to see develop and continue along in the sport. Thank but you. Beside him, El General, Emiliano Fernando Vargas. Welcome, sir. Looking uh, stylish as always. One thing we can count on is you always look like a million bucks at these press conferences. Appreciate that. Is this week uh, any different from previous fight weeks for you? I mean, first and foremost, this is a blessing, man. Um, I'm grateful to my team, grateful to Bob Arum, um, you know, just for allowing me to fight here. This is the T-Mobile Arena. I uh, just got to see Canelo fight Charlo here and envisioning myself here, walking out and stepping up on those ropes. And uh, everything's coming together. Everything's coming to fruition. And uh, 
you know, I'm just looking to put on another performance, uh, close out the year strong, and uh, prove to the fans that I belong here. The outdoor workouts uh, yesterday as well. You looked incredible in the ring. I know it's it's primarily for media and for people to see up close and personal in, in the ring, shadow boxing. Uh, but you always look sharp. You always look ready. Uh, I wanted to ask, is there a list of things that you and your father have that you want to accomplish in the gym week after week? And I'm not talking about wins and accolades. I'm talking about actually things in the gym that you want to add to your arsenal that maybe Pops can help you with that maybe we haven't seen yet in the ring? My father always says that, uh, you know, you stop learning is when you stop growing. So even my father's still learning things. I'm learning things as we go on. And uh, I think just to be the best in this sport, I have to grow. I have to continue to elevate myself, elevate my game. Um, you know, there's a lot of other great competitors in this sport at the 135 division, 140 division. And, uh, you know, I, I need to be on my P's and Q's, you know, when we get to that level. and. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, all I can do is go into the gym and keep on working on these small things and small tweaks here and, um, you know, show the world fight by fight that, uh, like I said, that we're we're meant for that big, big stage. And, you know, it starts uh, Thursday at the at the T-Mobile. Yeah, you mentioned those divisions, 130, 135, 140 stacked. So many great fights to be made. If you could look into a magic ball, where do you see yourself two years from now? I think two years from now. Not I think, but uh, I know that uh, I'll be in line or ready to fight for a world title. Um, you know, God is God is the greatest, and you know, at this pace that we're going, just gathering the experience and um, making sure we're good to go. You know, and like I said, we're here to fight. I'm a fighter. Um, you know, we've been active. This is my sixth fight this year, so I'm just looking to get in there, keep on gaining that experience, and put myself in line to fight these great champions and put on great performances. Like I said, like just being here at the Canelo Charlo fight, um, inspiring, man. I know I belong on that stage. And uh, you know, what better place to do it than Los Vargas, Nevada? <laughs> I love it. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. We're gonna turn our attention this side. Troy, Transformer, Isley, welcome. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. No problem, no problem. Thank you for having me. Of course, right out of the gate. Is this week a chance for you to turn on the gas a bit, show the world a side of Transformer that we maybe haven't seen yet? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, my first 10 fights, you know, I felt like uh, guys were, you know, trying to survive. So, you know, Vladimir, he's going to come. He's going to come to fight. He's going to, you know, bring the fight to me. So I definitely feel like I'm going I'm to show some stuff that the world hasn't seen before. We're excited about it. Now, listen, you are a top prospect at 160. But like everybody on this stage, everybody on this stage, each fight gets tougher and tougher. How do you make sure you're progressing in the gym the right way, the same pace as your fights, so that as we continue to see you, you remain a top prospect? Just, uh, just staying technical, you know, watching film, you know, uh, watching my sparring, making sure I'm doing the right stuff, you know, going over stuff with my team, and, you know, just staying in the gym. You just mentioned your opponent, and I wrote this down here. You're, Vladimir, who you're facing on Thursday, he defeated Julian Williams, Alfredo Angulo, and just upset an undefeated prospect in his last fight. Yeah. What would a convincing win over him mean to you? It means I'm a contender, and I'm going I'm to I'm be a, I'm a name at 160 that everybody got to worry about. That's going to happen? Definitely. Perfect. What does this week mean to you? This is a little different. This is a little unique. We're, we're throwing punches on a Thursday night. The city is booming. There's people everywhere. Is it hard to keep the blinders on, or are you just embracing all of this excitement that the city has to throw at you? I mean, I'm embracing all of it. Uh, this is what I dreamed of. You know, I want to thank Jay Prince and Bob Murham for, you know, giving me the opportunity to, you know, always explore my, at my talents and, um, you know, to, to be able to watch, you know, Shakur Stevenson, um, watch my bro Shakur win his third world title and, you know, fight on the same card is, you know, it's a, it's a dream come true. Listen, man, thank you for a few minutes today. You look great. Excited to see you on the scale tomorrow. Moving in one, Floyd, Cashflow Diaz. It is okay. great to see you back here, brother. This is only your second fight this year as opposed to five last year. Yesterday you said to me in those open workouts that you're back, you're ready to go. What does that mean? I mean, I'm ready to go. I'm back like I never left, baby. Um, you know, this ain't nothing new to me. I've been boxing a long time. Uh, I've been in the game forever. I've been around greats. 
And then even still now, I'm still around, you know, the top prospects in the game, top rank doing it big. So, you know, I'm back like I never left. This is your hometown. Vegas is home for you. What does it mean to have all of this excitement take over this city? I know it's been a little challenging for locals getting around with some of the street closures, but this is your backyard and you're on this card. What does that mean to you? It's amazing. I love every time I get to fight in Vegas. I used to remember when I was a kid, I used to be around Floyd, always in the back, but never in the fight. I was never in the ring, never, you know, having to walk out, lace up my gloves, get ready to, you know, punch somebody in the face in front of thousands of people. So, you know, now I'm 20 years old. I'm grateful, you know, to God and my team, Jay Prince, top rank, Bob Arum, you know, my father, everybody that got me here. And it's exciting, man. I'm in T-Mobile, yet another great venue. My last outing was in MGM. And so we're here on a Thursday, going to put on a show. Your father said to me at the open workouts last night that not only do you have a new hairdo, but your new game is on point and you're ready to shine. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Not the hairdo, the new game, ready to shine. What have you guys been adding to the arsenal that maybe we haven't seen yet? That's going to have to see on Thursday night. But what I will tell you, it's going to be a little different, Floyd. Um, not only am I back... And I got a new hairdo, but I'm back, and I'm going to show you a couple little different things that y'all ain't seen from me yet. So it's still the same pizzazz. It's still the same Floyd cash flow deals y'all been seeing. And I want y'all to tune in, baby. It's going to be fireworks. The whole card is great. People are tuning in. That's going to go without saying. Before we move on and get to this, uh, this fight here beside me, I, I wrote down here that you're 9-0. You're a top prospect in the Bantamweight division. How important is it to you? to put the microphone down, walk into that ring on Thursday, and put on a show that actually makes people tilt their head a little bit and go, okay, I see that. Well, I like to think of it like this. When I get into the ring, it's not about if I win or uh, how am I going to pull this off. It's how, it's how spectacular I'm going to look. It's how great I'm going to look. I'm going in there to look sharp, not only beat him, but beat him convincingly. Um, I know he's going to come with you know, all he got, and I love it, and I'm ready. Um, I love I love the competition. Uh, I love being in an arena on ESPN Plus at 20 years old, doing it big. I dreamed of it since I was a kid, as so many of us on on this uh, stage. And I'm just glad and happy to be a part of this and be where I am today. Thank you so much. Um, on either side of me right now, 10 rounds for the WBO international title. Brian the Assassin Norman Jr. and Quentin Randall. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, everybody else on stage, sit back, relax. I want to bring you guys into this conversation. Now, Brian, how special is this for you Thursday night in Vegas on this card to put on a show? This is literally what I have been dreaming about since I was seven years old. You know, me and my daddy first started off in the garage gym. I would watch it flow up Mayweather uh, on TV. Out here in Vegas, this this is literally what I've been wanting my whole life. This is what I've been training for my whole life. So I love this. I appreciate Bob. I think this whole thing player. I like this. This is this is my new life. You can you can get used to the lights, <laughs> yeah, right? I the stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're honored to have you here today. Quentin, uh, your story is absolutely inspirational. I've uh, been doing a lot of homework on you and reading up. What does this moment mean to you? Uh, it means everything to me. i Everybody who knows me knows I worked extremely hard to get to this point in my career. I didn't have no breaks. I didn't give. Nobody gave me anything. Everything I got was hard earned. I never wavered from the task. I never wavered from the journey. So, like he said, he's been wanting it since he was a kid. I've been wanting it since I was a kid. And Thursday night, I'm going to show it. You've had your fair share of tragedy in your life, mm -hmm. and you've been very public of that. You spent some time inside. How did that change you as a man? Uh, allowed you to focus on getting into boxing a little later in life as most like we got kids up here that are 18 19 20 years old you started a little later but the focus and the determination has been unwavered and here we are with this incredible opportunity in Las Vegas on ESPN man be honest with you this is due to the grace of God because when I was 18 19 and 20 I was in a six by nine sale in 23 and one lockup so I didn't I didn't know I just knew what I wanted to do when I got out I didn't know how I was going to do it I didn't know the path I was going to take, the journey. So my first day out, I went to the gym, and I never left. How did boxing change your life in that sense? Uh, boxing changed my life in a lot of ways because um, when you first get out of prison, there's always pressure on you to get a job, take care of your family. 
but then you don't they don't understand the selfishness of this sport they don't understand all the sacrifices you have to make and so trying to find a job trying to train at an elite level starting from the ground up it was extremely hard and then so boxing has really saved my life in multiple occasions from burying two children to getting out of prison like this is my vice this is my life i don't do nothing but box if when I buried my son, I went to the gym the very same day just to hit the bag. Like, I don't, I, I cope in the gym. Everything that that's good in my life, God gave me through the gym. Thank you so much for uh, opening up about that. I know that's not easy, but I think it puts perspective on uh, who is walking into the ring on, on Thursday night. Brian, coming back to you, uh, you mentioned your father. You carry his nickname uh, as well. How's that journey been with you and him uh, to get you to this point in your career where here we are, big night Thursday? Uh, it's been it's been wonderful. Um, like I said, I carry his name, so he's the fighter at first, so he know, he know how the game go, he know the ins and outs of it. So it, it haven't really been, I guess you say, hard on me because he prepared for me. He prepared everything for me. Like, he prepared me uh, mentally, you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, it wasn't really hard at all. Then, like I said, watching, I've been watching, studying great since forever. Like, that's all I do still to this day. I'm not really known for watching new fights or anything. All I do is just watch old school. I love I love the greats. I love the legends. I love the Ali's, the Frazier's, the Larry Holmes. I love all of them. I love how the people look at them. I love how they trained. I love every, I love the process. You get what I'm saying? So um, it, it really hasn't been hard. I, I appreciate him for everything you get, he did. Um, you can get swing by the top rank office. They have an unbelievable archive of I, fights. I, pull, I pulled up. I you know, you can up. pull up there, put a chair in that room, and you can be in there for yeah. days. Uh, this will be your first ten rounder. Mm -hmm. Does it go ten? Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to rush a knockout, anything like that, or predict a knockout. But I will be pushing the pace. I will be pushing the fight. I'm going, to, I'm going to do damage. Coming back to you, you hear him say he's gonna push the pace. He wants to do some damage. What do you think happens Thursday night? He gonna get his ass whooped. Sound good on paper. He gonna get your ass whooped. Once yeah, again, I don't care. What I think I, I love this whole situation because I'm fighting in Vegas. I got the perfect opponent. Like he just saying, he got he got the mind state of going in on Thursday and everything like that. Now it's time for me. This is my test. This 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 the test God gave me. I'm good at passing tests. This is what I've been doing my whole life, Shawty. Man, I've been passing tests my whole life. I didn't, you a child of me. I'm gonna beat you like one. So what that gonna learn today? Yeah, we gonna see. You gonna learn today? We gonna see. Like everybody know. For those in the boxing world, know. Oh no, they they know. When, and everybody else gonna see. Everybody know. Ask about me. Oh, shit, I didn't hear about that. Shit, my yeah, exactly. You already heard about me, so you ain't gotta ask about. You's a bum. <laughs> People you fought been bums, bro. Stop it. You got twenty five wins of pad work on your record, man. Stop well, how about this? We gonna find out. Yeah, we gonna you, find out. You called me out. I, you I, called I, me out. I, so yeah, Thursday night. Like, yeah, I called you. Just out. remember, I made you asked for a shot. I begged Brad for this just fight. Just remember, you asked for a shot. I've been begging Brad for this fight for the last year. I, I was eight and no. Hey, Brad, I'm eight and no. Can I get Brian Norman? Brand, I'm nine and zero. Can I get Brian Norman? Welcome to the knockout list, Shawty. Right, Welcome we'll to the show. knockout list. I'm gonna show you. You're another one. I'm gonna show you. You ain't nothing but another one. All right, I'm gonna show you. Look, this is gonna be the end of your whole book. This ain't okay. another paragraph. We're gonna see. All right, we're gonna see, kid. <laughs> like I said, y'all know. Shoot, man, they know. They gonna find out. For those who know, they know. I don't know I'm just, nothing. I'm just you gonna learn for the that. opportunity, man. I want to thank Brad Goodman. I want to thank Top Rank for the opportunity. I want to thank everybody. To get your thank ass whooped. Yeah, I want to thank, thank him. Thank you for this opportunity yeah. to get your ass whooped. That's, right. That's what you're going to do. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Uh, we haven't even got to the co or the main yet. So everybody at home, sit back, relax. We're going to let these guys have an opportunity to take a photo at the edge of the stage. And then these two gentlemen right here are going to have their first face-off of the week. And then we'll bring up our co-main and main event in just a few minutes. Everybody in the room, get your cameras ready. Everybody, everybody at home, take a look at what we're sharing with you right now. We'll be right back. All right, gentlemen.
Timmy, you and I have looked around and said, wow, it starts to fill up the place. There's a reason for that. Everybody wants to catch a wave when you're dealing with greatness. I'm a superstar in this sport. You line them up, name them. I'm ready for whoever. You can already argue that Shakur Stevenson is the best fighter in the world. There are other things you can't measure. Guys who turn him down, guys who refuse to say his name. Hey, for now, bro. For now. There was a deal with Frank Martin as of September 5th. Top Rank one day later sent the contract to PBC. Frank Martin called the fight off. You know, the deal's done, it's getting announced. And then all of a sudden, a few days later, you get cold feet. If I was dumb, who they are, I would dub me too. The deal was reached with Edwin De Los Santos to come in and step in against Shakur Stevenson. Every so often we get a generational talent like Shakur Stevenson. It doesn't matter which weight class he goes in. You just know he's going to dominate that weight class. I'm mastering boxing. I'm mastering the art of hitting and not getting hit. Beautiful work by the young gun. It's a different Shakur Stevenson yes. and it's by design. I'm the better fighter, I'm the stronger fighter, and I'm gonna beat him up. Just tell all them other lightweights, get ready. Tell them, come on.
know that I can really fight. They know that I'm the truth. Well, now you know why guys didn't want to fight him. Just tell all them other lightweights, get ready. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for them. The deal was reached with Edwin De Los Santos. I listen to the boogeyman. El verdadero boogeyman de la división soy yo. This is what I do. I eat, sleep, get boxing. And now here comes Stevenson. Claro que sí, para mí esto sería un gran cambio de vida. Eh, yo no tengo nada que perder. Eh, y voy, voy a través de eso, de, de hacer el cambio de vida. Me and my best, it's hard to deal with for anybody. Anybody who stands in front of me at my best is gonna have a hard time. Yeah. Let's get it banging. Let's see who the hunk is. Ocho Cinco. My name is Chad Johnson. Some of you may know me as Ocho Cinco. Boxing was one of the main things I did in all season to improve my footwork and timing. It was only right that I come to Las Vegas to tap in with my guy Shakur Stevenson. If you don't already know, Shakur is a future GOAT. On November 16th, Shakur looks to stamp his place at 135 and become a three division world champ. What are we going to see from Shakur Stevenson November 16th? Y'all gonna see greatness. Stay back left hand. I see that Get out of Prime Chad versus Prime Shapur. Who wins and why? <laughs> Your boxing prom? See it internally, see 
vision is clear. Put the back, ain't no question that we here. All of my love, this is all of my good. Turn that vigil in a rational good. Teddy did that because we came to win. Born for greatness, man. Born for greatness, man. Born for greatness, man. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back inside T-Mobile Arena here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame Boxing Promoter, Mr. Bob Arum, brought to you all weekend long by AutoZone, Get in the Zone, by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. Sitting with me now is our co-feature and main event. This will be on ESPN at approximately 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. The WBO Junior Lightweight Champion, Emmanuel Vaquero Navarrete, facing Robson Obrabo Conceição in our co-feature. And our main event on either side of me, the vacant WBC Lightweight Championship, world, championship of the World on the line, Shakur Stevenson. Edwin La Granada de los Santos. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Gabe is just off stage here to help with some translating for me. Champ, I want to start with you. Junior lightweight world champion, you have had more world title fights since 2018 than any other fighter on the planet. What is your motivation? Campeón, has tenido más peleas del título mundial que cualquier otro peleador desde el 2018. ¿Cuál es la motivación? Hola, antes que nada agradezco a todos por estar aquí presente. Bob, muchas gracias por las oportunidades. A todos agradezco y pues yo creo que principalmente eh, es, un, es un trabajo en equipo. ¿no? La, la empresa, en este caso Top Rank, Bobarum, me brinda las oportunidades eh, de reaparecer constantemente en el ring, eh, en este caso defendiendo los campeonatos y pues yo... A mí me gusta estar activo, me gusta estar eh, trabajando y peleando siempre y es por eso que tomamos las oportunidades que, que se, han, se han aparecido en mi carrera y, y las aprovechamos nada más, es lo que, lo que sucede. Oh, well, before all, I want to say that I'm grateful to everyone being here. Uh, to Bob, I want to say thank you. And to everyone, thank you. I think that mainly it's teamwork. You know, here the promoter, top rank, Bob Arum, give me the opportunities to constantly reappear in the ring, and like I'm doing now, to defend my titles. And I like being active. I like working. I always like fighting. And that's why I take the opportunities that, opportunities that appear in my career. So basically, I just take advantage of them. Thanks, Gabe. I'm going to come over here to uh, Robson Obravo Conceição. And Gabe, how's your Portuguese? Because here we go. Uh, Houston, a couple of months ago, you were set to get on the scale, and you got the call for this title shot. What was that call? What was that feeling like in Houston when that fight got scratched, and here we are now? Robson, in Houston, ibas a pelear. Eh, a, 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 antes de subir a la báscula te dijeron de que ibas a tener esta oportunidad al título mundial cuando te ofrecieron la pelea ¿qué sentiste? Eh, buena, buena tarde a todos eh, muchas gracias a Top Han que es Bobby Aaron eh, yo tuve esta noticia un día antes de mi pelea mi última pelea entonces fue un, una oportunidad muy grande Eh, eh, me quedei muito, muito feliz por esta oportunidade e assim de imediato eu aceitei, mas eh, quanto mais difícil as coisas para mim, melhor. Então, eu aceitei de imediato. Good afternoon. I want to say thank you to Top Rank and to Bob Arum. I heard of this news one day before my last fight, and I know it, it was a big, very big opportunity. And so I was left very happy, and I accepted it. Uh, immediately and so uh, the difficult the more difficult things are for me the even better for me and so I accepted it immediately Robson you have been here before and some would argue that you won a previous title shot but regardless of the shots they don't come often what does this opportunity mean to you to have another shot 
Opsen, has estado aquí peleando por un título mundial. Algunos dirían que quizá ganaste en tu última oportunidad el título mundial. Eh, sin embargo, ¿qué se siente? Porque no es tan frecuente, no es algo tan frecuente que llegas a tener una oportunidad al título mundial. Entonces, ¿qué se siente estar de nuevo aquí en esta nueva oportunidad? Sí, sí, creo que es muy difícil tener como tres oportunidades en boxeo, en título mundial, pero así fue en, en Amateo. Eh, yo, yo precisé de tres oportunidades para me quedar campeón olímpico. Y entonces, así está se repetindo en el boxeo profesional. Así se, se age a Dios. Yes, it's very difficult to have three opportunities in boxing for a world title. But that's how it was for me in the amateurs. In my third attempt, I became an Olympic champion. So history is go going to repeat itself, but in professional boxing. I'm going to come back over to uh, our champ. Emmanuel, he is a tough fighter. Robson is a tough fighter. What do you expect him to bring Thursday, and how do you hold on to your belt? Navarrete, sabemos que tenemos un peleador muy difícil, un peleador muy duro. ¿Qué esperas de tu rival y qué vas a hacer para terminar la pelea con tu cinturón? La verdad sabemos que Robson representa un peligro enorme dentro de una pelea. Su estilo es complicadísimo, como el de Shakur. Obviamente son peleadores que traen el estilo muy marcado olímpico y eso a cualquier peleador eh, con mi estilo es, es complejo, es difícil pelear contra oponentes de este nivel, de este estilo, pero pues trabajamos sobre eso, creo que la preparación la, la inclinamos más a esa parte, tratamos de, de trabajar eh, algunas cosas para pues, que la, la pelea sea más, más fácil y la, la podamos resolver de una buena forma, ¿no? eso es lo que Tratamos de hacer en la preparación y pues esperar que, que las piernas y mi cuerpo, mi mente estén en, en, en un buen canal, ambos o las tres cosas, para que pueda yo salir a dar un buen espectáculo con, con Robson. Truthfully, we know that he represents an enormous threat in a fight. He has a very difficult style, like Shakur. Obviously, uh, when you're fighting someone with an Olympic style like that, it's very difficult. Any fighter uh, with my style would find it complex or complicated uh, to fight against someone like that at this level. So we worked on that. And in our preparation, we worked on that. Uh, we worked on things so that the fight can be a little bit more easy for me in that way. And so um, that's what we prepared to do. And I hope that my legs, my mind, everything is on the right path so that we can uh, come out and give a good show. Same question to the champ, uh, and I'm going to pose to Robson as well. Your style is uniquely yours. How would you describe what you do in the ring? Robson, tienes un estilo único. ¿Cómo describirías tu estilo de pelear? No, la verdad no, no tengo idea cómo poder, o más bien no sé qué decir ante esto. Sé, solamente sé que eh, me defino por, por un peleador con mucho carácter, con mucho corazón, yendo hacia adelante, a veces no me importa tanto que me golpeen. Eh, trato de mantenerme fuerte para soportar algunos golpes y, y de ahí tratar de eh, realizar yo mi ataque. Well, I don't know what a, I have no idea what to say that to that. I don't know what to say to that kind of question. The way I define myself as a fighter, well, I would characterize myself as someone with a lot of character, a lot of heart, someone who likes to come forward and who doesn't mind getting hit. And I also try to make sure that I'm strong so that I can take some punches as well. And so I also try to do my uh, particular attack. Robson, I'm going to come over to you with the same question. He, you have a unique style. How do you describe what you do in the ring? Opción, misma pregunta, tú tienes un estilo único, ¿cómo describes el estilo tuyo? Es, es Manuel Navarrete, es un muchacho muy guerrero, muy fuerte, tiene un corazón enorme, tiene mucho, tengo mucho respeto por esto, entonces es un muchacho muy, difri, muy difícil de, de se pelear, creo, muy fuerte, va creciendo adelante de, de los Andes, entonces yo y mi equipo tuvimos que entrenar mucho, buscar muchachos similares para hacer Spag, entonces estoy listo, estoy, estoy pronto y vamos, vamos con todo Navarrete, vamos a bailar, vamos a pelear mucho. Navarrete is a very strong young man, he's a warrior, he has a big heart, I have a lot of respect for that. He's a young man, I think, that he, that who, who is difficult to fight. And he's very strong, and he seems to get stronger as the rounds progress. So my team and I have trained hard. We found sparring partners that are similar, and I'm, sim uh, and I'm ready. I'm here to fight Navarrete, and I'm ready. I know you're here to fight, but what do you have to do specifically on Thursday to take that title? 
sabemos que vienes a pelear, pero ¿qué específicamente tienes que hacer para salir de este combate con el cinturón? Eh, este es un momento de, de mi vida, ¿no? como en los Juegos Olímpicos, yo prometí a mi niña, hoy tiene como nueve años, y tengo otra que tiene como seis, y yo prometí también que iría eh, la presentar con los títulos, entonces, así que yo estaba aquí, mi niña habló papá, y entonces viaja, va y, y haga lo que me prometiste, traz los cinturones, entonces yo no sé lo que va a acontecer encima de los ringues, pero yo voy a tener que salir con los cinturones mundial. This is the moment of my life. I've been through the Olympic Games, and after that, I promised to my daughter, who's now nine, and my other daughter, who is six, I promised them that I would present them with the world title. And they told me, you have to come back and present this world title. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have to walk out of there with the title. Robson, thank you for being here today. One last question for uh, Mr. Navarrete. Uh, your corner, your, mag your management, everybody has been right there with you all along. What would a win on Thursday night mean not only to you, but to your entire team here in Las Vegas. Tu esquina, tu equipo, todos han estado contigo desde el inicio. ¿Qué significaría para ti una victoria, no solamente para ti, sino para todos los miembros de tu equipo? Pau, oh, sí, principalmente siempre pongo por encima de mucho a mi equipo, siempre lo he respetado bastante. Eh, más que un equipo, ahora somos como una familia. A secundaria creo que el trabajo que hemos hecho... No lo, puedo, no lo hubiese podido haber eh, hecho yo solo y, y junto con ellos hemos alcanzado muchas cosas muy buenas. Siempre voy a estar con ellos, no, no voy a cambiar de equipo porque pierda mañana, pasado o después. No voy a cambiar de equipo, voy a terminar mi carrera con ellos. Eso está especificado al 100%. Eh, pues nada, creo que entre nosotros sabemos que si llegamos a perder algún día, vamos a perder todos y vamos a corregir lo que haya que corregir y seguir adelante. No, no va a cambiar nada. Este, obviamente no queremos perder, vamos a trabajar todo el tiempo para seguir mejorando y, y pues demostrar que la unión en mi equipo uh, es más fuerte que todo lo demás. Mainly, I always try to put my team above everyone else, uh, above everything. I respect them more than a team. They are my family, my secondary family, and the work that we do, I wouldn't have been able to do that alone. And so with them, I have achieved many things, and I'm always going to be with them. I'm never going to change just because I lose tomorrow, the day after, or sometime in the future. Uh, I never will change them, and I'm going to end my career with them. That's something that I've determined 100% now. And so we know that if we lose, we lose together, and then we'll correct what we have to do to keep moving forward. We're not going to change anything. And so um, what we're going to keep doing is work hard, keep going better, so that we can demonstrate that the union of my team is stronger than anything else. Robeson, champ, thank you very much. We'll see you on the scales tomorrow. Uh, big round of applause for Gabe back there doing Portuguese and Spanish for us on the fly. That is no easy task. Let's move over to our main event. They are on either side of me, and uh, it's going to be one for the ages. The vacant WBC lightweight championship of the world, Shakur Stevenson, Edwin de los Santos. Thank you for being here. Gabe, you're going to help me here as well. Uh, Shakur, I want to start with you, and it's, it's straight to the point. What would it mean to have people introduce you on Friday as a three-division world champion? I mean, it means the world to me. Um, I've been grinding my whole life for these moments. Um, I'm back in the same situation I was before, uh, fighting for another vacant title. Um, I'm just here to do what I got to do. I'm um, focused, I'm ready, and uh, showtime on Thursday. Do you feel there's a little added pressure to produce a performance that people will talk about, or is it just business as usual this week to get in the ring and get it done? Nah, I really don't care about y'all. I ain't really paying y'all no mind no more. Um, as of right now, uh, my performance is based off how I feel. Um, I'm performing for myself, and uh, I know that if I come in at my best, um, like I said before, um, I'm hard to deal with for everybody. Edwin, I'm going to bring you into the conversation. What is this opportunity, or uh, not when, or I'm sorry, when this opportunity presented itself? You didn't hesitate for one minute. When you got the call, you accepted the fight immediately. Why? Why this fight? Why now? Edwin, cuando recibiste la llamada de esta oportunidad, no vacilaste, la, la aceptaste de forma inmediata. ¿Por qué la aceptaste y por qué ahora este, esta pelea? Bueno, eh, muchas gracias a todos por participar aquí en esta rueda de prensa. Saludos eh, 
gracias a Torran, gracias a mi promotor, Samsung, mi equipo. Eh, bueno, como dije y siempre voy a decir, yo no estoy aquí para vacilar, yo estoy aquí para pelear. De que llegó la oportunidad de la pelea, vamos a esto, que a esto es que estamos. Well, I want to first thank everyone who participated in this press conference. Uh, thank you to Top Rank, Samson, my promoter, my team. Like I said before, I'm not here to hesitate. I'm here to fight. And so we got the opportunity. We accepted it. This is your first world title shot. How special is this moment for everybody in your camp and your family included? Es tu primera oportunidad al título mundial. Qué tan especial es este momento, no solo para ti, sino para todos los miembros de tu equipo y de tu familia. Bueno, eh, algo súper, súper emocionante, ya que es el sueño de todo boxeador, ser campeón mundial. Eh, mi familia está súper contento y sé que con la ayuda de Dios voy a salir victorioso y te voy a cambiar la vida. Well, it's super exciting. It's the dream of all fighters to become a world champion. And so my family is super happy. And I know that with God's help, I'm going to walk away victorious and it's going to change my life. Shakur, I want to come back to you. You've spoken openly about being avoided. He jumped at the opportunity. Does that uh, give him a little bit of respect in your camp, in your corner, in your mindset that, hey, this guy didn't shy away at all? The minute it was presented to him, he signed on the dotted line. Uh, no, I respect that. Um, uh, he's a fighter. Uh, you tell that he got a lot of heart. Um, it may work against him on Thursday night, but um, I definitely respect the fact that he took the fight. What happens on Thursday night? I'm going to beat him up. Just as simple as that. I'm whooping his ass. What does it mean for you or to you to be headlining in Las Vegas? This is your night inside T-Mobile Arena on arguably the busiest week of the year or ever, for that matter, in Las Vegas. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I'm hoping that it would be a sold-out crowd. Uh, I want all the people to tune in. Uh, I've been focused. Um, I'm sharp, I'm ready, and uh, I'll be on, I'm going to be on point on Thursday night. Edwin, what do you need to do on Thursday to prevent Shakur from becoming a three-division world champion? Edwin, ¿qué necesitas hacer para prevenir que Shakur Stevenson se convierta en campeón mundial en tres divisiones? No tengo que prevenir nada, el que tiene que prevenir es él en mí. I don't have to prevent anything. The person who has to prevent is him. Sound good, brody. Yesterday at the open workouts in the ring, you were smiling, you looked sharp, fast, your whole camp was excited, and a couple of the guys on the rope said, you're about to shock the world. Do you feel like you're being overlooked this week? Ayer en el ring tuviste una sonrisa, te miraste bien rápido y listo y preparado para este combate en el entrenamiento de prensa, y también los miembros de tu equipo dijeron de que iban a conmover el mundo, iban a shock the world. Eh, ¿Sientes listo para eso? Bueno, me siento más que listo. El jueves 16 va a haber sorpresa, que no se sorprenda. I feel more ready than ever. And the 16th of November, you're going to see the upset, and don't be surprised. Shakur, he's sitting here, he, he feels pretty confident. Uh, you know, obviously we're translating, but you can see his demeanor. He's sitting here, he's confident in, in his skill set and what he has to offer uh, the boxing world Thursday night. What's your response? My response is, I've been here before. Um, I've been here several times. This is first time in a big fight. Um, he he do sound confident. That sound that's all good. But I know that he's going to try to come to fight and it's going to work against him. He didn't hesitate. He signed on the dotted line when that contract was presented. We talked about you know the respect there immediately. Uh, styles make fights. Is this going to be a fight or is this just going to be another Shakur Stevenson domination on Thursday night? Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm, I'm going to see how I play it when I get in the ring. I can't tell you no game plan. Uh, like I said, when I get in the ring, uh, everything just going to flow and I'm going to come out victorious. Are you ready for Thursday night? I know you're excited to be here. I know you didn't hesitate when the contract was offered. But has camp prepared you well enough to take on probably the top prospect in the game today? Estás listo, sabemos que estás emocionado y que no vacilaste cuando te ofrecieron el contrato, pero el campamento te ha, te ha preparado para enfrentar uno de los mejores boxeadores del mundo. Bueno, para mí en mi carrera entera desde que inicié, este ha sido el mejor campamento, 
me siento como nunca. Eh, la preparación, estoy súper, súper preparado y le, le, le advierto que no petañen. Well, for me, this has been the best camp of my entire career. I feel like never before. Uh, I'm super prepared and I want to warn everyone to not blink. Man, man, that shit sounds so good, man. I swear to God. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what he talk about, man. Yo quisiera que alguien me traduzca también la mierda que está hablando. You don't even know what I just said, bro. Suena bien. How you responded? <laughs> you don't know what I just said, Dice que no sabes lo que dijo, que solamente respondiste. ¿Cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? I bet you he gonna learn how to say my name. I bet you that. Dijo que no sabes lo que dijiste. He change the way he say my name. Let's bet that. Que vas a aprender cómo decir su nombre. El que tú vas a aprender cómo decir el nombre de Shakur. Dice él. Shakira Twitterson. Shakur Twitterson. All oh, good. I love Shakira it. Shakira Twitterson. Tell him on Thursday. Repeat what he just said. El jueves vas a tener que repetir eso. Repítelo el jueves. Okay. Appreciate it. We good? You got anything else? Anything else you want to say? No hay otra cosa que hey, tell dejar. him take his glasses off for the uh, face off, man. Dice que para el careo, el face off, que te quite los lentes. Que me lo quite él. You take them off. <laughs> I will. Lo haré. As always, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing like Fight Week in Las Vegas, Nevada. Again, shout out to Gabe for the translating on the fly uh, back there. To everybody in attendance, thank you for being with us. We're going to get them on the scale right here tomorrow afternoon. Again, it all goes down Thursday night right here inside the incredible T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's F1 Where's Fight my Week. Hmm? Where's my belt? Where's your belt? I don't know. It's your belt. I don't carry it. We can find it. It's, it's on a shelf somewhere. You just threw me off. I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> We're going to get them on the scale tomorrow. It might be F1 week, but the real race, the real fireworks happen right here on Thursday night inside T-Mobile. Coming live from Las Vegas, my name is Mark Chinook. As always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank. We'll see you tomorrow.